Hi Aries, this is your February 2021 tarot forecast. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. It is for your Lilith, your Chiron, and any first house placements, guys. So basically, wherever you have Aries in your chart, you are definitely going to be able to use some messages from this reading. Look at this guy, just to flip a rating. We have the lovers flipping for you there. That's exciting to see. Some Gemini uh, energy. So yeah, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm really inspired to switch it up a tiny bit. I have a new reading for you. Oh my gosh, guys, look. The Six of Cups. Jumping out for you. Wow. So this message could be for just one of you Aries out there or generally speaking for, you know, Aries energy with that lovers jumping out and then the six of cups. This could be a gorgeous reunion or a really major decision around a really special reunion with a loved one. Um, it could be a child. It could be someone uh, from a past life relationship, someone from your past in general, whether that's in this incarnation or another incarnation. Um, but definitely around a love interest, around someone who's very precious and dear to your heart. So that is interesting. We'll see if it comes up in your reading today. I have a six card reading for you. We're going to qualify some messages. And as always, I will get some oracle cards for you. So, Aries. <laughs> then we have the Ten of Wands jumping out. So, I mean, it could be the, you know, the, the path to freedom here could just be like laying down a burden by making a decision around someone from your past. All right, guys. I'm really enjoying this. These flipping cards, you know, they just flip right out of the deck as I'm shuffling. So yeah, you know, a new direction, uh, a passionate new direction with somebody. Saw that Ten of Wands there. It could just be between choosing if you are trying to make a decision between two lovers right now. Someone from your past could be sticking out or someone who reminds you of your childhood or, um, like I said, a past life. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Neptune, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Chiron, first house placements, and of course, your Lilith. And then we have these guys jump out together. Holy smokes, guys. So a major victory around expressing your love, expressing your deepest emotions, a love offer. Someone is very, very clear about a love offer here. You're going to have to comment below and let me know what's really going on for you, Aries, because that's extremely exciting, beautiful energies for you. <laughs> so let me cut the deck here for you and get your reading. All right. All right, so we have your recent past. Put these up here where you can see them. Current situation, reason for the current situation, what to expect or to do, advice or pitfalls, and then a probable outcome. Bottom of the deck energy is a little bit of conflict. I think this is probably pretty standard considering the situation that you're in. There's definitely something going on with a love interest, planning potential, potential about where it's going. Another card of choices for longevity, long term. If this is a business opportunity or money, it's a general reading, guys. It doesn't have to be a love reading. It could be a choice around, you know, what makes you feel the best, what brings out the best in you. But yeah, this five of wands at the bottom of the deck here for general energy. This is just a lot of conflict, chaos. This is a little bit of upset. This is arguments. Technically, this is happening in the workplace or a career situation, but it can be just anything that's dealing with passion, the way you conduct yourself. Here is the recent past. So this is a king of pentacles. This is Taurus energy, possessions. This could be banking institutions. This could be long-term, say, even governmental institutions. Not the same kind as, say, clinical institutions. That would be the King of Swords. This is more of like society. So this would be, um, you know, government. This would be banking. 
where you deal with things that move, ideas or things like legislation and money that, um, in terms of you know interest rates and so forth, that move slowly, or possessions such as property that um, is you know static, uh, but it can be traded. But things generally take time. This is a very well, all pentacles in general take time. They deal with time um, and practicalities. So this is, in your recent past, this is probably property, a possession, a very, very important possession, something that's matured. It can be matured finances. It can be um, you know, investments here as well. But if it is a person, this is a Taurus individual uh, or Taurus-like individual. So this is Venus energy, uh, second house. So again, possessions. It is opposite of Scorpio here, so it could be... Um, <clears throat> possessions having to do with partnerships as well, long-term partnerships. It does sit atop of the two of pentacles. So again, like a major decision, you could be juggling something here. If it is investments or a relationship, it could be that, it, yeah, a major decision needs to be made. I do find with the two of pentacles down here, it's something that you could try to get away with. I do see it next to the seven of swords. So even if everyone's on the same page and everyone knows, it is going to cause some emotional, you're going to have to balance your emotions here as well over this issue regarding your recent past. So the situation currently is just this meh sort of feeling, this kind of like, I don't want it, I don't like it, it isn't good enough. If it is about a property assessment here, if it is about attachment, we do have the devil or Capricorn ruled energy over here, so we have a lot of earth energy. Here and we have that over the seven of pentacles so you could have been waiting on something coming through and at first glance it looked nice or something seemed nice but it's not as pretty or attractive or even as um you know captivating as it once was i think the only caveat with the situation currently is not is to not overlook something right but we do have this you know sitting atop of the seven of swords so it could just be about strategy changing your strategy making sure someone doesn't have a strategy or something on you so that you come out on top. Just make sure that you play things, you know, a step in advance here because either you or someone else is going to try to strategize a way out of or into something or to get away with something. I do find the Seven of Swords, even if it's a strategy, even if it's the best possible incarnation of that card, energetically speaking, it's still selfish energy. So that's the only thing I would look at uh, here. You do have a couple of Sevens. Um, sevens are reassessment. You're going to have to um, perhaps rethink or look at something again. Here, I'm just looking at these Sevens briefly, but... Major decision, and I am looking at, you know, some of the cards that jumped out at the beginning of your reading as well. So here we have in the reason for the situation, right? So devil energy, Capricorn energy, hard work, status. You could just be trying to, that term, you know, keeping up with the Joneses. There could be this sense of, you know, wanting to fit in. How do I fit in? How do I make this work for me? There could be an element of appearances here, um, keeping up appearances making something look like it's a certain way, waiting to look like a certain way or waiting for a status to change. Remember, it could be from renting to home ownership. It could be from, um, uh, what's it called when you're not married but you're engaged to marriage, right? So it could be, and it could be that time in between where it's like, <laughs> it's almost like, it's anticlimactic, like it's not exciting at that stage because you're waiting or there's a pause. So if that could be just all that's going on here and you're waiting for something to go on around you or happen around you or it's causing some conflict either between you and others or even internally. Here is what to expect or do, right? So just, you know, go with the flow here, guys. Try to keep a hold of your emotions. You know, something is going to happen fairly rapidly. This is for the month, right? So I would say at least by the third week here easily, a decision either needs to be made or will be made um, that you're going to have to do something with. So in terms of what to expect or do, just keep looking. Look at some options here. Try to make it no more than two. We don't have the seven of cups here, so we don't have a lot of options. But if you have two options, maybe just 
get more information, make sure they're solid, make sure who you're talking to is solid and you can trust them because the advice or pitfalls, the seven of swords, right? So here's where I'm looking at some trickery, some gambling. It doesn't have to be bad, right? It, like I said, it can be um, your plan or a strategy. And that's great. It's a great idea to plan or strategize on how to get out of this feeling, how to get out of the sensation of meh or uninspired or unfulfilling or even boredom or anticlimax, right? And there with your outcome or your probable outcome here, um, is the seven of uh, pentacles and here's where we're looking it's under some more pentacle energy and it's just waiting waiting for answers waiting for instruction waiting for progress let's find out what you're waiting for i'm going to get some more card uh some more um information about the seven of pentacles or even how to invest what information or strategy you've got planned for yourself okay that's a lot i'm just looking for one card please Can you tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles as the probable outcome? Why is the Seven of Pentacles outcome? All right. And wow, guys, look at this. So two of the cards that jumped out at the beginning showing up again. When they fell on the table, they fell upside down. I don't technically read reversals, um, but I, you know what? I just have to pay attention to how these land. It is what it is. They land that way for a reason. So these were reversed. I'm going to read them upright. And this is confirming the seven of pentacles. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting for? Uh, what do you need to reinvest? What do you need to take time out or step away from to get a clear vision of? And it's this love situation, something that broke your heart, really incoming fast messages around someone from your past. So this could be making... Um, this could be making you pause here, right? Because like I said, these are all reversed, how they fell. So it could just be making this decision is going to save you a lot of heartache or you have to let an old heartache go. You have to let someone from your past go. Maybe you're waiting for someone to come in from your past before you make a solid decision for the future. Maybe you want someone to show up or you need someone to show up here. be a child you could be the child it's a parent child situation definitely a broken heart you're waiting for messages see you're waiting this eight of wands if it were upright would be incoming messages fast communication exciting communication reversed it's um the opposite right it's it's thwarted communication it's waiting what do i say to this person from my past how do I make this decision around this broken heart? And maybe if you are choosing between two people, if, it's, if it could be about how do I tell this other person I am going to break their heart, or someone's heart could be broken here when, when you make a decision, if it's between two people. Um, if it is a job, business, career, or other matter, not romance, uh, I would really look at what it is you're telling yourself if you are internally conflicted, if that's going on internally to you. I would hold off on something and wait to get a clearer message. Wait for your heart to heal. Wait until you're over something here. Or maybe a re-examination. Sevens can be a re-examination or an editing or a time to step back. It could just be, this needs to be evaluated. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus. Look at this, and we have secrets here. Wow. All right, so here are your Oracle cards, guys. We have a lot coming out of this deck, so let's begin with these guys. Oops. <laughs> here we go. So we have regeneration to be fair and blessed. So you have a lot of blessings here. You really do need to balance. I consider this a Libran card, so this could very well have to do with partnerships of some kind or possessions or even investments, right? And whatever you're investing in, time, money. But you are blessed. Regeneration, I consider to be more of scorpionic energy. There is a, like a rebirth. There's a phoenix energy here. I would go ahead and make a personal decision for yourself that you know firmly to be good and true for you. 
uh, here Aries if you're waiting on someone else I would say that it would be you're gonna wait a long time and it could even be disappointing and believe it or not someone might be waiting for your lead at this point right so trust you're gonna trust that things will work out for you trust um, that things will fall into place for you keep your eye on the prize love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so yeah you know be true to yourself to thine own self be true and then secrets wowzers wowzers what is going on here with secrets and then the card of the gambler or the strategist and this is the planning stages this is not a secure identity this is planning and this wily and again somewhat selfish behavior so if you're withholding secrets or keeping secrets or thinking that you're keeping secrets someone around you knows they may not know the secret but they know and Aries, if someone around you is going through this and they're keeping the secret, they're underestimating you because you know. So, wow, that was a crazy cool reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if it resonated, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, comment below. Let me know if it was meaningful to you, and I'll see you in the next reading for your sign. Bye for now.